Hi, this is Scott Williford, and I just wanted to give you a quick tutorial on something I figured out. I'm not an Excel guru, and I haven't written a whole bunch of macros, but figuring out how to create a checkbox to hide and unhide rows was something that I really needed, and maybe this will help you. So the first step in this is understanding how the if-else macro will call another macro. So I found a tutorial out there, uh, just a, a real quick cut and paste kind of macro to, to test and basically what it does is it reads a1 and uh, whoops got to type it in right and uh, what a1 says it based on hot or cold it will change what's an a2 now I assigned that macro uh, to a button so I didn't have to go in here and run the macro each time uh, which is something that hopefully you already know so that macro, that if else macro, looks like this. If range A1 equals hot, then call hot macro. If else range A1 equals cold, then call the cold macro. And the hot macro says change the value in A2 to its hot, or the cold macro says change it to its hold. It's cold. And uh, so that works pretty well. And once I understood that, the next step is understanding how the hidden function works. So normally when we want to hide something, and I'm going to record this as a macro just to kind of show you and put it under control shift H. Uh, we want to hide something, we highlight the row we want to hide, and then we just right mouse click and click hide. And then I'll stop recording and then once I've hidden it, I also want to be able to unhide it. When I want to unhide a row, I will uh, highlight the two rows around it and then right mouse click. So let's let's record that also and we'll put that under control U for unhide. I'll highlight the two rows, right mouse click and click unhide. And now I have uh, two macros, one to hide it which is control shift H and one to unhide it which is control shift U. If we go look at those two macros in our editor, you can see that it just says, you know, exactly what I typed in or what I did. But there's a better way without having to um, actually select and all of that and see and have your cursor move around. You can just use active sheet, rows, the row number you want, entire row, hidden equals true. So basically, I've just rewritten the recorded macro with a single line that uses active sheet and just identify the row and uh, and so that will do exactly the same thing so now control shift H hides control shift U unhides the last step is using a checkbox to trigger the macro so just like this button will trigger a macro so if I change cold and then trigger the macro. I could also use a checkbox. So I go to insert, I grab checkbox, I place a checkbox here, and then I assign that checkbox to the macro. In this case, it's my checkbox macro, and we'll go look at that in just a second. And then I also want to assign uh, through the format control a place to get the true faults of the macro, so in, uh, of the checkbox. And it's the combination of these two that allows, allows me that when I check it, it will hide, and when I uncheck it, it unhides. Check, hidden, uncheck, unhidden. And if you notice, what's happening over here is it's going false and true. And so that's what happened when I assigned the uh, end of formatting uh, the location to put the true faults. Now the macro that does all of this looks very similar to the macro we started with except I've changed a couple of things. So now if check uh, if range A1 equals true then run hide. If A1 equals false then run unhide. And then I have the one line sequence to hide and unhide that row. Pretty straightforward Again, the, the key uh, trick to this, the key element to make this work 
uh, work flawlessly for you is this format control and assigning a location for the true or false to go and then key your macro off of that. So every time I check it runs the macro and every time I uncheck it runs the macro and at the same time it's changing this. And what you could do to get really slick is you could actually hide that row. And now when I check and uncheck you don't even see the faults and unfaults. You can hide it in a tab, do whatever you want. So hopefully this is helpful to you. It certainly was to me and I'm glad I figured it out. Good luck.